The way I look at clowning, it's a, it's a very spiritual experience in that when I go out there to entertain, my job is to really commune, it's to really be with these people. Even though there might be a certain distance between myself and the front row and myself and the back row, you can actually touch all 1,500 people emotionally. You give to this audience, the audience gives back to you. And I really feel that when things are going very well and I'm really concentrating and I'm really in the moment that um, I'm more of a conduit for some kind of higher energy that's flowing through me. It's just this cycle of love that uh, you give and you receive tenfold. I'm training dogs since I'm nine years old. Dogs have uh, good senses so they could see you, they can hear you and they can feel your inside energy. I train every single dog like it would be my own child. I give them love. And you have to train every day. You have to be very consistent. You have to be very disciplined with your diet, your way of life. You have to be healthy because that's your mode of uh, expression is your body, so you have to respect it. What I like about circus is it feels like you are the gladiators, like you, you know in the arena. I do have worries every time I go on stage, and my coach always tells me the day you're not worry anymore, it's time for you to stop. So you have this little adrenaline before you come on stage, and I think we, you get addicted to that, I guess. My love of horses started very early. As I was growing up, when I was about four or five years of age, I used to dream about horses. I, I dreamt that I was a horse, and I used to even neigh like a horse, and run like a horse. I used to gallop. I could never just run like a normal child. I used to gallop. Um, and uh, I'd neigh to horses, even in a field, and the horses would come running to me. So I still think I'm part horse, actually. <laughs> When you perform with horses and you, you come on stage, so to speak, or coming into the ring, you never know what to expect because uh, they'll be excited, the music's loud, the audience is there, there's always this little bit of tension. Sometimes things will go wrong, well, that's just, you know, part of the act. You know, horses are not machines and um, I like to do an act where they look like they're playing, which they are and I use all this as part of the, the number. I started with five years old practicing. My father used to be a juggler. I'm the fourth generation from a circus family. So I'm doing this about 37 years. One thing is I um, like juggling because it's a kind of meditation to me. It's, for me, it's relaxing. Yeah, I feel very good after practice. Well, of course, they don't understand sometimes the difficulty of uh, a routine. Uh, so many, many times, like a very difficult trick, uh, they don't understand. And then you do something else which is um, like humoristic or easier, but it has a visual effect and they like that actually better. Because people misunderstand sometimes. They think we are happy because we think we such great talents, you know. But actually it gives you a, a very warm feeling and, a, and happiness to see that you could give the crowd a good time. This is actually the, the main thing we're trying to do.